it is possible to check that if we have two n bodies, just let's say that n equals 3, and we arrange those two n bodies in a perfect polygon, suppose in this case that we have a hexagon, then we can set up initial conditions for the velocities so that the motion takes place in a perfect circle. And then these six bodies move in a perfect circle. All of them share the same trajectory. Also, uh, we can set up special conditions for the initial velocities so that each body moves on a, on a hyperbola. Or we can set up initial conditions so that each body moves in a perfect ellipse. Uh, if have solutions of the two body problem are kind of a generalization of these solutions. For these solutions, at every t, half of the bodies are in a plane parallel to the xy plane. Here we have half of the bodies. And the other half are at the plane c equal negative d of t. And at every t, if we project these, all the bodies into the plane c equals zero, we will get a configuration like this. We will get a, a, a regular polygon. Then the motion is described by three functions. Uh, the function d of t, right? the function r of t, we can think that uh, this is the c axis, then the function r of t is this distance. This distance is the same for all the bodies. If, if I pick this body, the distance from this body to the c axis is the same as the distance from this body to the c axis, and so on. Then we have a second function, and the function theta of t. If you pick a particular line, then this is theta of t. Uh, the theta of t for this body is up to the constant. It's just the, the theta of t for all the other bodies. Then we have three functions that describe the whole solution of the two n body problem. And if we are careful enough with the initial conditions, we can get some very nice solutions like the ones that you have been seeing uh, here on top of this video.